What did you yeah. say after her surgeries? I'm trying to remember too. <laughs> but I didn't I'm look good. To no. Yeah. yeah, I think. Uh, well, it's it's pay look. I have three daughters, and if one of my daughters, you know, I want them to feel beautiful and happy. Mm -hmm. Inside here, yeah. and if they did that on the outside, I would be destroyed. I'd also be a reflection, maybe, that I it would be hard for me not to feel that I had failed in some way. Did you feel that, Darlene? Like, oh, it it's was, my fault. Yeah, well, of course, I think we always, you know, as moms and parents, want to kind of look to ourselves first to see, you know, where, where did I go wrong? What did I, what did I, you know, how did I contribute to this? But. Um, it was just difficult because Heidi was never that way. When she left Colorado at 17 years old, went to college early, she was just the most confident, had just such strong self-esteem and self-worth. And uh, so it was just such a shock to me to see this behavioral change. Have you sworn off ever doing anything again? or? Yeah, I absolutely haven't done any fillers or anything. And I think that the surgical quest at this point is certainly over. Do you like it now? Because now it's all settled in. Is there anything you want, you'd like to take down or do? Or I did. I had um, a breast reduction last year, or almost two years ago. So yeah, I um, did want to take that down, and that should be my last adjustment, but I'm feeling a lot better. Do you wish, Darlene, looking back at all this, that she had never gone on the hills? Do you see her life playing out very differently? Do you think about that? Yeah, absolutely not. I think that um, our life just be, takes us on a path, and I never think um, to look back and have regrets necessarily. I think that we can learn from all things. It's been an amazing, created such an, an incredible um, opportunities for her. That's how she met her husband. I mean, just, you know.